hello and welcome back to my channel today we will be doing a pick a card reading for the month of july 2021 but before i begin i would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you get notified on my next upload i'm uploading a new video every week and i'm offering a free tarot reading for all of my subscribers so if you would like to have your reading with me you can just send a message to my email or the direct message to my instagram all of the details will be in the description box below. Alright, so as usual, we have three piles for you to choose. This is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. And if you would like to choose by the crystals, here we have the cat's eye. And for the pile number two, we have rose quartz. And for pile number three, we have agate. Now what you have to do is just close your eyes, relax your mind, take a deep breath in, and slowly exhale. And once you're ready, you can open your eyes and pick the pile that you are most drawn to. So if you pick pile number one, you can continue with me. But if you pick pile number two or three, you can skip ahead to your reading from the timestamp that I will put in the descriptions down below. Alright, so this is the reading for those who choose pile number one. I have pulled one card from a deck that only consists of major arcanas for your overall energy but now we will start your reading with an oracle card first your oracle card is clear cognizance and it says pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers all right so i feel like ideas will come to you easily this month and your intuition will guide you especially when you need to decide on something besides you are very optimistic in this card we can see that there's a rainbow so i feel that this represents that there's something amazing that will happen to you this month so now we're going to draw four tarot cards for you your first tarot card is ten of chalices this is about fulfillment and you will feel satisfied with your life or your choices for some of you, getting a pet is very likely this month, so if you're thinking of getting one, this month would be a good time to get one. Another thing that I picked up from this card is that walking to the park, if possible, will help boost up your mood. Your second tarot card is the hangman. Well, this card shows me that you have a limiting belief I think that some situation or people made you feel trapped and you felt like there's no other way around it but it is just an illusion your mind create maybe as a defense mechanism or something like that so i suggest you do the meditation to clear your mind and do shadow work as well another thing about this card uh, is that i think for some of you this could represent that you will get a cold feet. You will change your mind last minute about something. Now your third card is the Emperor. This card suggests you to take control of the way you think. Listen to how you talk to yourself. Be aware of your inner voice. Pay close attention to it. Is it so critical or is it too soft? Observe all of that and try to control that thought especially if it contributes to something negative your fourth tarot card is ace of chalices i feel like there's something you hold on to longer than you should this card also represents that something new and positive is coming your way but you are afraid of it for some reasons well maybe because it is new and you don't like changes 
but i think that you need to slowly let go of any old beliefs or physical things that has served its purpose in your life and realize that now it's time for you to move on so now your overall energy is the death card so what i feel is that in the month of july you will need to close an old chapter because the new one is ready for you we started this reading with a positive card and i said that something amazing is coming your way but we have this energy that shows how you are still holding on to something that no longer serves you right so the message here is that the longer you release this old energy the longer you will have this hangman energy so release it and embrace the new energy that is coming to you now the next card is ace of swords this is about the ideas that will come to you this month i feel like you have spent half of this year gaining a lot of knowledge you may have read more observed the situation in detail or even took up a class to learn about something whatever that was it has helped your thinking process and ideas flow to you easily now your last card is eight of wands so with this card i feel that july will go by so quickly for you you could be very busy or enjoying this month too much that you don't realize how quickly it ends and i feel like once you have released your old belief system you're going to be excited to continue your journey and once you start this new beginning you will be impatient to taste more of that so yeah that is all the reading for pile number one i wish you a lot of good luck for this month don't forget to share your thoughts about this reading thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next reading hello pile number two so this is the reading for those who chose pile number two this card will be your overall energy and it comes from a deck that only consists of major arcanas but we will not start with this card instead we will start with your oracle card so you have gifts from god and it says we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms to receive so right away i feel like this month you will receive some kind of reward or any type of gift not just from all of your hard work that you have been putting but also from someone close to you like you will receive this gift out of the blue it's not your birthday it's not something special but they are just thinking of you so they decided to bring something for you and bear in mind that this gift could come from any type of source and in any type of form now we're going to draw tarot cards for you your first tarot card is ace of wands this card shows that you will be having so much fun in the month of july maybe a celebration is also going to happen and see here that you have more than one flower breath i feel that it confirms that you will receive more than one gift now your second card is princess of pentacles what i picked up from this card is that you will do a lot of writing this month it could be a journal or even a formal writing like article book or academically and for some of you this shows that you will spend time to manage your resources now your next card is eight of pentacles which is showing me that you are continuing your hard work you know when it's time to work and when it's time to play i think that you will start your month with some play time and enjoying yourself but you know it has its limit and you are very disciplined about that so you manage your time wisely next you have the fool this card represents a step that you will take or at least consider taking it's about something new that you want to try although you may not know what the future holds but i feel like this card encourages you to just take a deep of faith 
and do it especially with this thing here this reminds me of like a hula hoop or boomerang for some reason so I feel like even if you change your mind midway you will still be able to return back to where you were and you won't miss that much so your overall energy is judgment this means that you are ready to put yourself out there especially because you have been working hard to prepare yourself and you have managed your resources well now you just have to put yourself out there and allow yourself to be exposed to more good things that are available and this oracle card could also be about the mental support that you will receive from the people who you thought will judge you but turn out to be those who will give you compliments your next card is the hangman i feel like this card represents that you have a plan to do this to start this new thing and to put yourself out there so this energy is not something that comes suddenly but even so you make sure that you don't do it blindly meaning you will prepare yourself for the worst case scenario so you don't end up hurting yourself so much you don't end up losing a lot of resources even if your plan failed so this thing right here i feel like this is your safety net you make sure that you have it with you before dipping yourself into something new or an unknown place your last card is a six of pentacles so this is the card that tells me that you are someone who is generous and you like to help others but the thing is i feel like you don't really let others do the same to you this is something that you need to work on you need to learn that receiving help does not mean that you are incapable or that you are weak but by letting people help you you let them do their parts of giving and it's a balance act so that's what you need to work on this month and that is all the reading for you pile number two let me know what you think about this reading in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next reading all right so this is the reading for those who choose pile number three so this is the card that i pulled from a deck that only consists of major arcanas and this card will be your overall energy for this month but we will get to this a little bit later and we will start with your oracle card first so you have spread your wings and it says do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar so if you are thinking of doing something this month it's gonna be a good month for you to do it and i think that july will be a month where you find a lot of things align with you now let's draw some tarot cards for you so your first card is the empress this shows that you are expanding or supposed to but held back you have a vision about what kind of future you want to have your creativity is high as well but you are holding back maybe because you think that you wouldn't be able to make it happen but this month because the timing is right i suggest you to stop procrastinating you can also do some journaling to help boost up your confidence write down things that you have accomplished but before that you thought that you would never be able to do it so this will show that you are capable of achieving what you thought were impossible your second card is six of chances i feel like although you are doing things right and everything seems to align with you this month but you feel like there's something you are lacking of and i feel like 
you feel lonely somehow and you are longing for a meaningful relationship. For some of you, I feel like this could mean that you miss your family or friends, maybe because of the current situation that's been going on. You are not able to see each other and you have been dying to meet up with them. Next, you have the lover's card. Well, this month you really are focusing on relationship, whether it's the relationship between you and your partner or family, friends, or even with yourself. For those of you who are single, I feel like you may start to manifest a partner because of this loneliness that you feel. But for some others, I feel like you are putting more time and energy on your current relationship. And your next card is Queen of Pentacles. This shows that you have been saving up for something or managing your finance. So I see that this month you will be able to balance out a lot of aspects in your life. First, your self-improvement. Second, about the relationship and now your financial situation and because the timing is really in your favor this month do not let any opportunity to improve pass by now your overall energy is the magician this means that you have all of the resources that you need to pursue anything and the fact that the timing is right makes it even better if I were you, I would start taking action or at least make plans about what are the things that I need to accomplish. Now your next card is Queen of Cups. This card suggests that you need to stay calm under any circumstances. We can lose ourselves not just when things go south but also when we are too happy that it's aesthetic sometimes and cause us to not think clearly. So keep your cool, remind yourself of what is important. You can make reminders or to-do list to help you. Don't forget to take a break and do self-care, take me time to recharge. Do anything that helps keep you grounded. Your last card is Knight of Swords. Well, for those of you who are single and are manifesting a partner into your life I feel that this could be an energy of that someone regardless of what your gender or your future partner's gender even though this is knight of swords this doesn't mean that it is only male's energy and I feel like this person could be closer than you think for some others, this is your energy of pursuing your goals. You are a go-getter this month and nothing is stopping you. So yeah, that is all the reading for pile number 3. Please let me know what you think about this reading in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next reading.